Hi, Jerome. Want to ask your thoughts on the new league COVID policy where asymptomatic players don't test unless they're randomly selected, like a lottery almost. Is that a fair way of doing it, in your opinion? Um, I honestly just follow the rules. I don't really have any uh, input or anything. Uh, I'm just trying to stay healthy and you know, be ready to play. Uh, this COVID thing is hard. It's hard to really control. It's hard to really dictate it. So uh, just trying to do my part to stay healthy and stay clean. Have you been tested this week? No, I haven't. Great. Thank you. Daniel? Uh, hey, Jerome. I wanted to ask, um, as you watch the St. Tom film, I guess, how would you best describe them with Taysom Hill? And um, do some of the same principles apply um, from when you were game planning for, you know, whether it was Lamar or Cam? Um, some of those same teaching points kind of apply with Taysom Hill and that offense. Yeah, um, they similar to the aspect, you know, as far as running quarterbacks. But, uh, you know, I, I think they do a great job of just keeping you on your toes. You know, when you pop on the film, they can be in so many different personnel. They can do so many different looks out of so many different just really personnel. So uh, I think that's what really makes them hard is you, you have to be sound. You have to know exactly what you have to do. You got to know who's in the game. Uh, you, you have to communicate. They do a great job of just putting you in situations where it's going to be you know difficult. So uh, it's going to be a, a good one Monday. Yeah, and a quick follow-up. As a linebacker, I mean, do you personally like – facing the the more kind of unorthodox quarterbacks like Taysom or do you, would you kind of prefer a more conventional, traditional drop back quarterback? Um, I, I love the challenge. So I'd say I love the, uh, you know, the, the guys that can run and extend plays. Um, you know, it's, I'm not going to say it's easier, but it's a little easier, you know, when a guy just stand back there and just make throws. You got to worry about if they can run the ball, you covering well, but you can't be in too much man and they can take off. That challenge for me is that's what football is about. You know, I love the challenge of football. So any chance I get to, you know, have a great challenge like Hill, you know, uh, you know, I get excited. So it's gonna be fun, especially Monday night there. It's, it's gonna be electric atmosphere for sure. Thanks, man. Omar. An athletic quarterback kind of sparked your move back to outside linebacker. Um, what what do you think you've learned from this transition? Like, what has it brought to your game? Uh, what has it brought? I think for me, it's just the uh, when you down there in D line and outside linebackers, your technique has to be very very sound. Um, you know, a linebacker, I can get away sometimes with just my pure speed or uh, just being off the ball, you know, anticipation sometimes. With outside linebacker, it's – if you're not worried about who's in front of you sometimes, it can hurt. So, uh, you know, down there, it, it taught me, you know, technique is really, really important. Um, your hand placement, you're getting off the ball, um, you know, those things that – I'm not going to say you take for granted as a linebacker, but sometimes you can, you know, shy away from it and – uh, you know, also a lot of it really just being down there, it helped me really uh, appreciate, you know, my technique. Thank you. Jose? Um, thank you, Jerome. Um, it, it's only human nature to look forward, but um, it, it seems like looking, going day by day, it's working for the Miami Dolphins. Why do you think this, this group is so receptive to the Brian Flores philosophy? Thank you. Oh, it's one thing. Um, it's all trust. You know, we, we trust Flo with everything. You know, every guy trusts him. Uh, we know his system works. We know what he's talking. We believe what he's talking about. Um, you know, I, I think we just had to uh, truly just see it. I think once we, you know, believed in us and him, you know, things started to turn around. So uh, it's a credit to him and our coaching staff. And, it's a credit to all of us. We're really just doing a great job just taking it one day at a time and taking one game at a time and uh, just doing our thing. Yeah. I'm just going to ask if you could give your thoughts on how your uh, front is playing with Christian obviously playing really well, Raekwon, Agba's impact, 
Do you have even more respect for Zach than the average player because of what he's made of himself as an undrafted guy? Just if you could talk about that, that group of players in, in front of you. Uh, I'm going to say this. I'm very grateful for those guys. They make my job a lot easier. Uh, you know, all those guys you have down there from Christian to Agua to all of them, they, they truly make my job easier. Uh, I think the one guy, uh, Gink, he, that is a smart guy. Uh, it's been plenty of times that he got me right and he coached me up a little bit. Um, but, you know, when you can just see a guy like Zach, he comes in and uh, he's so consistent. He comes in and work. He does what he has to do. He's a great teammate. He's a great guy. And, uh, you know, we, we're all just happy for him. Um, he deserves it. Everything he's getting, every um, accomplishment he's making, he deserves it. And, uh, yeah, you definitely have a, a lot of respect for a guy like that. He truly just comes in and work and does his job and he's consistent. So credit to him.